All right. Hello, everyone. It's Friday tea time. We're going to make a sheep teapot. I may have to adjust all of these cameras as I go because um, there's a lot of windows open now on my laptop, and I forgot how annoying it is to move all of my computer equipment across the room. So we're just going to we're going to start with an unveiling. Um, if you were not up in the middle of the night last night following me on Twitter, you missed out on the making of a teapot base, um, which started promisingly, but I don't like the spout. But whatever, that doesn't really matter in this case because I'm putting a sheep head on it. So, um, here we go. Surprise, surprise quail. Um, that's right, I preempted all of you. I preempted all of you and started with a quail. Um, oh, that's right, my camera focus is locked. Well, um, quail. <laughs> uh, had a bit of clay left over as I was putting this away. So I preempted every stream shout ever and uh, put a quail. Also, I had a little bird on the lid as the handle anyway in the sketch and I thought that little bird should really be a quail <laughs> given the general quailness of Friday tea time so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the, where am I gonna I need to put this quail somewhere safe I'm gonna put this quail under the camera over here he's now sitting underneath the uh, this camera I think that I think I like the angle of this camera. Let me. It's that feels less like a jaunty Dutch angle. And then how are we? How are we first centering here? This working directly under the camera feels doable. Okay. Let's pull it forward just slightly. because otherwise I tend to go back too far towards myself. All right. So. Yeah, sorry, um, the cheaper, worse camera lags slightly over the uh, expensive, fancy streaming camera, which I don't hate as much now that I've learned that I can buy an $8 app that I can lock the focus on it. So. Maybe I don't need to buy a whole new camera setup. Maybe I just needed to buy an Ethernet cable and uh, and a camera control app. Maybe that was it. Um, but this is still a little a little bit soft because um, one of the things that I want to be able to do is get ourselves some sheep texture without adding too much clay. Because I don't want to make this teapot hilariously heavy. So I have some fun tools. Weird tools. Um, I'll tell you, Hannah, what app that is uh, later when I can find it. Oh, I think it's just called Webcam Settings Panel. No, that's the panel. I don't know. It's Webcam. It's, an, it's a Mac app that's in the Mac app store <laughs> on your computer. Um, and... Uh, it was like $7.99 or $8.99, one of those two. And it's not terrible, and that's very exciting. So, um, also very exciting. It's quite a nice, nice round teapot shape. Um, and at about the stiffness I want it to be. So that's sweet. I need to clean up the bottom some, but I also need to bell the bottom out a little bit. And I'm going to add sheep legs, so I just kind of left all this clay here um, so I'd have something to work with. You can see where I had to wire it off the plexiglass because I was an idiot. Now there's paper down, um, so it won't stick to the plexiglass anymore, although the paper is getting a little bit damp. Let's turn it over. Um, but we have our pot base. Um, so thoughts. I'm tempted to squeeze it a little and make it slightly, slightly oval, like a sheep. 
Um, so I'm kind of doing that now. Just a little, nothing major. Because I don't want to... Okay, good. Um, I did that with the lid in, which I now can't get out, because I've got this lip on the lid, and I wanted to make sure that it, you know, formed with the squeezing. Yeah, sticky plexiglass. So, um, clay adheres really nicely to shiny, slick surfaces, um, which I used to my advantage if you saw the uh, beginning of the goose build where I used the balloons. Um, I used the fact that it sticks really nicely to plexiglass to sort of give it support and adhere it to the bottom so I could then cut it off and empty it out without having to worry about its support. But for this, it was not ideal. Um, my spout is also slightly crooked. Okay, so I have fun tools for us today. You may notice in my little sideboard here, I have, uh, I have a uh, paperweight and a marble, uh, both of which, I'll hold them down here, both of which I made in my sad attempt at learning glass blowing. And uh, I thought that those would be kind of, they're kind of the perfect shapes to create some sort of dense, like kind of press it in and it creates sort of a denty surface. Um, bigger, sort of a bigger shape difference if I use the uh, the bigger paperweight. And I can also come from the inside and sort of press it out. Sort of press around it and kind of change the form that way. So we're going to start out just kind of uh, kind of giving it some 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 dents and ruining the nice smooth finish that I that I worked so hard on because I think that that will help. I don't want to add a whole lot of extra clay. So I think that that will help kind of cement when we like the textures when I add um I think I'm going to go and add little torn bits of clay like I did with the bolts. Um but this will sort of help start that process. Um the other thing I have here is a wooden spoon, which is for uh, for beaten. Um, because as I'm doing this, I don't want to malform the shape too much, so I will tap it and pop it back into place with this wooden spoon. Is this the same wooden spoon I use for cooking? Yes, it is. Should I keep using it for cooking now? It's probably fine. It's probably, it's probably fine. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna, that's how we're gonna roll at the beginning of today. I'm a little bit sad because I ordered a stool to replace the squidgy bouncy ball that I've been for some reason trying to use as a seat at this table. But the stool isn't here yet. So I've still got like a squishy exercise ball against my knee. I tried to solve a problem. Yeah, the dents the dents have a have a, a sort of a nice like cratery hammered copper rock form look. They will they will look more like sheep wool later. I hope. <laughs> but for now, I've got, oh no, I've got fingernails is what I have. Um, probably said it before, digging your fingernails into what you're working on. One of the number one problems with clay. So. I uh, made the base first so that we can ideally 
carry on pretty quickly to the uh, to the sculpty bits because um, although I felt like the balloon based goose was fun and exciting uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me um, as you may have noticed if you went on Twitter and read my my thread of teapot making there's a hour to two hours between each of those tweets um, there's a lot of waiting involved in making a form like this because I have to sort of build part of it let it stiffen and firm up because I've added water to tap like to to work with it as I'm letting it build up then I have to let it sit again and yeah there's a lot of waiting involved a lot of waiting a lot of uh, a lot of making tea and questioning my choices a lot of making biscuits in the middle of the night so it's not unfortunately a thing that I can really stream it occurs to me that I should be working on the side with the camera <laughs> oh. but yeah the biscuits turned out great I ate two for breakfast today, just now. Um, well, not just now, but you know, a bit ago. Um, but yeah, the one the one slab thing I have ever built was that little canister with the bird on top, and I felt like that was it could have been neater if I'd been able to to let it sit. So I'm trying not to do slab stuff on camera because it just doesn't lend itself well to it. And I'd rather, rather do something that works nicely and is fun and, to, fun and exciting to watch. Um, if everyone really, really wants like slab pattern, slab building tutorials, maybe I'll just video bits of the process at some point and make like a sped up version talk over it put it on youtube or patreon but uh well, we got a nice kind of if i if i squiggle it i get a kind of a nice swirly that's kind of nice um that's kind of pretty So yeah, instead of doing it on camera, I thought I'd I'd sort of live tweet the whole thing, um, because why not, really? And that's why you got pictures of my biscuits at two in the morning. And that's how now we have a teapot to start. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work from the inside. Oh, you know where where I really need to do that around the around to the sheep neck here. Get some get some width going on around this spout. This is a very awkward angle. <laughs> There we go. Uh, yes, black wolf frost. This will actually be able to be used for tea, or at least that is the plan. Um, that is why there is a spout um, attached to be the interior, so that I know for sure there's a functional teapot. It's uh, nice and round. I didn't make it too off shaped. Um, I'm gonna keep B 
beating it with a spoon. Um, so yeah, the idea is that this is a functional teapot. Um, I think it would be silly to make a teapot that did not function. I would just as soon then make a sheep <laughs> that had no need to be also semi-formed as a teapot. I would just go ahead and go straight for a sculpture of a sheep. Because that would be way easier. It would involve a lot less careful slab building prep work. I'm trying not to deform this rim as I reach inside. Because it's just a little soft still. Um, but yeah, I don't have a hugely detailed, competent plan for where to go <laughs> from this part of the creation, honestly. I was just like, I need a teapot base. That's what I need. Um, and then I'll put a sheep on top of it somehow. And we'll figure it out together. Chat today on Friday tea time. I will figure out what I'm doing live as I go. Because that's a great idea. I don't see any way that could go wrong. I mean, you know. Oh, I'm doing it on the side that you can't see again, but it's so much easier to have my left hand inside the teapot and the camera is on the left side. So let's, let's see. The other reason that I like to let it sit is so that I can pick it up and handle it like this without worrying. Like, you see how when I'm holding it, it's not really squidging, deforming. It's, it's pretty sturdy. I can squeeze it out of shape, but, um, but I'm not going to, like, if I hold it like this, I'm not going to accidentally crush it. Um, and I need to be able to sort of manipulate it like this to do the sheep bits. I need to be able to hold it up, turn it around. And manipulate it without making sure that it's just never lifted off of its base. So I'm pretty happy with kind of the general feeling of the texture. Squidging. Yeah, I use the word squidging a lot. <laughs> yeah, make teapot, add sheep. That's my plan. Um, and, uh, and this morning I had the bright idea to use these, these, this marble and, uh, Paperweight? I don't know. Does anybody use paperweights? It's, it's a it's a flat marble. It's a failed marble, really. <laughs> is what it is what it truly represents. But you just have them sitting around. And the best tools are things you just have sitting around already. Failure marble. Um, yeah, it's it's actually hard to make a completely round marble with a torch. And glass. I learned. I mean, I don't know that I was under the impression to start with that it was super easy, but it's harder than even I thought. But you can put stuff inside, and then extrude it, and it makes a thing. Again, I forget that my camera focus is locked. Intentionally by me which is in fact for the best, I just, uh, if I want to show you something close up, I have to adjust it. All right, nearly there. The base is a little bit angrier <laughs> than the top. 
Um, it's a little bit more overworked because I had to attach its little base. Okay, and then I scraped it. All right. That feels like a pretty good texture to start with. I'm feeling okay with that. I believe it is time to start putting a sheep head on the sheep. I'm gonna move, move my spoon out of the way. Swap to sculpting tools. Swap to my favorite sculpting tools. There's still some tea back in here, by the way. In case you were worried, it's over in that corner. I can't tell if it's off camera because my focus controls are covering that part of the screen. But there is tea. Now, where did I? Ah, there's where I put the clay. I prepared clay earlier. I was, aside from the equipment setup, I was fairly prepared for this stream. All right. Uh. T, yes, the importance, the important T. Um. It's, it's just Earl Grey. It's a, it's a basic tea day. All right, now here's a question. How am I gonna do this sheep head? I have, I have possibilities. I could, I could do an additive sculpt where I just squidge bits of clay on and then gradually form a sheep head. I could sculpt a sheep head and viciously cut it in half. Uh, and mm, that seems like it's going to be hard. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to to add. I think I'm going to have to try and sculpt a sheep head onto the spout by adding clay. Because I think that if I try and sculpt it and hollow it out and make it, I think I'm just going to deform it too much. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> let's pull out the, the sad the sad bouncy ball that I still have to sit on. All right, that's a fun noise. Um, so let's see. I need um, hmm, hmm, hmm. okay, I'm gonna I'm go <laughs> I'm gonna make a decision. Is what I'm gonna do, I promise. Cover this. Um, so yeah, you say you add clay would be easier, except that I'm not great at sculpting that way. Um, I'm a much better sculptor when I can take a lump of clay and, and sort of create the general form in my hands by squidging. So I think what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is start that way, but not go into like a lot of the form and details. I'm just gonna start with kind of a general idea of the of the shape. And then and then I'll cut it apart, add bits of it on. And that that'll be that's my plan. Oh yeah, that's the changing sunshine. Um, sheep, sheep reference image is here. Um, yeah. Also, chat always always gets very upset with me when I sculpt something and then cut it into pieces. <laughs> they always they always get very concerned for the well being of the wildlife that I end up having to 
to dissect for the good of the sculpture. So. So I'll just attempt, I'll, I'll soften the blow for y'all. Um, there's no, yeah, you can, please, Black Wolf Frost, always do ask questions and make suggestions. When I answer them, um, it's to be informative. If I don't take a suggestion, there's a reason, um, and I'll explain it. Like, I'm bad at, I'm bad at additive sculpting. I always have been. I don't, I don't know why exactly, but I'm, I'm, I'm a squidger. I squidge sculpt. Um, <laughs> but yeah, chat, chat always gets, uh, is that about the right sheep base size for the pot? I don't know. Let's, how, how, how wide is that? How did I, let's see. Okay. He's about two thirds of the lid. So yeah, that seems about right. All right. For, for for the sake of chat, I will cut this in half off screen just in case. Just in case. I will. I will make it so you don't have to watch. There. See? Everything everything is fine. Everything everything is perfectly safe. I'm now gonna scoop out its brain. Um, I'm sorry. This is just the way it has to be. Do, do, do. Kind of, kind of like there-ish. Let's turn that so second camera can, can see what's happening. Not gonna attach it yet. Yeah, I well that's you guys, I, I very politely cored the heads of the goose and, and the gosling off screen so you didn't have to see me drilling into their back of their heads. That was that was my gift to you. Chat followers. Yes, this is this is the 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 sheep the the sheep vomit teapot. The sheep vomits tea. Turns out that apparently people who who keep and study sheep are really excited about sheep vomiting teapots. So Yes, good, perfect. The profile the profile is working. Thank you. Thank you. Valkyrie, I'm just gonna say Valkyrie. I can't tell if that's two I's or one I and an L in the second part of your name, so I'm just gonna call you Valkyrie. <laughs> that's uh, sorry. I would just butcher it otherwise. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. Is that it's supposed to look like a a a bleeding sheep. It's supposed to be. To be making a sort of a ba looking face. Oh no, we need to take way more off of this. Um, and uh, okay, top part working, bottom part a problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or bottom part less of a problem. Top part needs to sit lower. We'll figure this out. Okay. 
tidying things up. Oh, that was, that was an awkward cut. There we go. Because I kind of want this to line up with, you know, the spout. But then this needs to sit lower. Uh-oh, I'm taking, I'm taking more of the brain out. <laughs> hollow, hollow sheep head. All right. I'm just I'm I could do this on screen, but you guys you guys get so upset. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't want to frighten anyone. Hmm. You know what? I'm 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 losing the the lower jaw. I'm just going to additive sculpt the lower jaw. That's my new plan. Yeah, I pre I pre quailed. <laughs> I preempted I preempted the quail. I've learned. I know you too well, chat. All right, we're just gonna attach this. Anyway, start there. Scoring and slipping. All right, let's yep, 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 okay. We'll just start we'll start with that. And this is a very uncomfortable thing to sit on. I need to stand back up. <laughs> just gonna have to deal with it. So get this attached nicely. I need to get my hand inside here. Ah, don't, don't stab the lid. So. What I think is going to happen is I'm just going to add from here. Like this will kind of be my base, my basis for for the head shape and we'll work from there. Trying not to dissolve this Oh, I see. I see. I look up and Hotenji 3 has been explaining, explaining our issue with quail. <laughs> um, it's tradition here that, um, that chat puts quail into whatever I make. And, uh, and so, yeah, it's, if you join my Patreon, there's a full resolution coloring book page image of Quail Thulu just just waiting for you to I guess color it like the deepest darkest parts of the sea or farmyard oh so Oh yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know, Necro Buffalo, if you've been paying attention, but there's a bunch of posts on Patreon. <laughs> um, I put, uh, when I do line drawings, I put the, um, I put the, the high resolution versions up on Patreon so that if someone wants to play with them or color them or whatever, they're there for you. Grumpy Unicorn is also on there, along with the not grumpy unicorns, the cute unicorns the internet did not love as much as the grumpy unicorn. Um, and all the bird D&D &D characters are up there. And 
And yeah, for, for $5 a month, uh, you can make a sketch request and get your very own Quail Thulu. Because why wouldn't you want that? All right, there we go. Yes, uh, Camelociraptor, that's also a thing that happened. Um, it's, uh, you know, these, these things happen. All right, I'm gonna start just squidging clay on here. At first I need to kind of give it a rougher surface. Let's make this a thing I can add to. Uh, the other thing is I have to work kind of on both sides at once to make sure they match. Like right now, I've squidged it on at kind of a funny angle. There we go. Okay. We'll start. Did I just bump the camera? I think I just bumped the, the second camera. Oh, well. All right. Let's start with sort of where the cheeks go, I guess. There'll be... No one can see what I'm doing, can you? <laughs> just... Hmm. Hmm. Second camera. At the worst possible place. For trying to do this. Alright, and I feel like there's like... More of a... More of a forehead there. Hmm. <laughs> Is there a better? There. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move this camera. I apologize. Oh wait. First, I'm gonna move this quail. But I think that I can maybe find a better angle on what I'm doing with this camera. Maybe? Is that, is that helping at all? Feels like it might be slightly better anyway. Um, just kind of trying to make it so that you guys can see what's going on. Well, my hand's in the way. Cool. Overhead camera is not always the best for for sculpture. Hmm. I see. I'm beginning to see the issue. And the issue is that. Let's see. Let's play with the shape zone. Where are we here? <laughs> yeah, it's got like a turtle thing going on that I'm not... So if it had like an ear... Okay, I need... I need to... Uh... I think that part of the problem is that we need to to close this gap here. It needs to 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 bob it not quite so much. I think Hmm. Yeah, it's got a very... Okay, bad things are about to happen, friends. Tr 
trauma is occurring. I apologize. First of all, I think I'm accidentally pushing this down. Okay. So. So. I'm gonna gonna reform the shape of this spout some. Ah oh, yes, if you go on my Twitter, um, there you can see the process of making this crazy thing. All right, where is all my other tools over here? Do do do. Just just removing just removing all of the things that I just did is what's happening. That's just just didn't work. Not not happy with it. Oh, that's a worrying line. All right. Also, let's. Let's try and, and strengthen this spout. All right, I want you to be like that spout. You're gonna be more of a eh, shape. Okay. Turn this slightly, sorry, off camera-ish. I need to try and even it out. Get myself a better sheep base to start with. Okay. Just about, just about there. Uh-oh, what aren't we supposed to Google? I'm concerned. I'm reading back in chat. Yes, I deheaded it. Ah, oh, well, I mean, temporal anomalies are cool. Thank you for joining us in, in the temporal anomaly. These things can happen. So, I'm trying to make this as undramatic as possible, but, but I also, um, so yeah, chat, chat. I need to put this quail somewhere again. Move you here. No, I'm dropping clay on the floor. Oh no, it's 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 all falling apart. I have such a mess now over here. And we still have we still have this uh this sheep going on here. And chat has gone to dark places, which is probably my fault. Um, our craft can't help but show up this early. Uh, our craft is far away from where I am, and our time zones are problematic. Okay, so. So what I want is less in here, but more, more right in here, where the sort of top of the mouth is. All right, let's see if we can't do this for the, uh, 
for the good camera, shall we? I wish I could just pick it up and tilt it on its side. Oh, if I had, oh, if I had corrugated foam, I could. Oh, oh, for corrugated foam. Then I could just rest it gently on one side in the foam and work on it facing up to the camera. That'd be fun. There's a thought for the future. <laughs> Um, oh, yep, just, just for those who have joined us late in the game, um, you can't, you can't, can't out-quail me this time. I pre-quailed. I came, I came prepared. I came prepared with a quail already. So, haha. -ha. I saw, I saw what was coming. And I, and I prepared. I had a, I had a hidden quail the whole time. Um, okay, so I feel like what my problem was was that I was too. Yeah, that that already feels more doable. So that I was too. too high up trying to make the uh, the mouth still looks like a turtle though um, still still has a real turtle vibe going on that I am now gonna try and correct but first just gonna get this attached again I might cut it off later but what can you do that's life All right, I'm standing back up. I'm probably going to sit back down again. Man, is that thing uncomfortable. Everyone spare a thought to the stool in the mail that's supposed to arrive this weekend. That's right, patrons, you bought me a stool. Actually, a turtle teapot would be adorable, Jabberwocky Pie, and that is, that is now a thing I kind of want to make. Only... I don't know, a teep, more like, it'd be more like a cream, like it'd have like a shell lid, so it'd be kind of more like a, a milk or cream thing. There's a word for that, surely. Pitcher? That's the one I'm looking for. Okay. I've somehow made this super crooked. Cool. It's fine. Figured out somehow. All right, so. So. I'm gonna try and, and give myself that space back again here. Because I keep crushing it in. Because I'm adding so much water and pressure. Aw, quail sugar bowl. Or should it be a, no, it should be a quail milk pitcher and a, and a turtle sugar bowl, obviously, because then the turtle, the turtle shell is the sugar bowl lid. All right. I'm going to look at what I've done. And, and try to fix it. Ah, yes, I did say I don't like additive sculpting, but here we are. Adding some water to my clay. Um, but yeah, the, the turtle, the turtle would be the sugar bowl, of course, because it have a little, a little shell lid, and you know when things get into your sugar. And then, and then its little tail would be the spoon. So then you lifted the lid off, the tail you'd pull, it and it'd be yeah, because having the head be a spoon is creepy. Just saying. <laughs> Somehow, the tail is fine, but the head is creepy. All right. So the thing, because the thing is, I need like width now. I'm, I'm seeing, like, I'm just, like, I need, I need to feel, 
the sheep head scale. I mean, it's, that's sort of more sheep like from the top, anyway. A little. I'm gonna need to. I don't have an overhead sheep view handy, it turns out. I don't know. I think I was thinking, I've done this before, it will be fine. I made I made sheep bulls. They turned out like sheep. Um, but yeah, the quail pitcher because quails are already basically shaped like pitchers. You know. Oh no, they might be scientists. Naughty cat. Don't be naughty. Be a well-behaved cat. Be like my 15-year-old Tabby who's just asleep in the window. All right. Hi. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with the overall shape of, I'm gonna move it so that the camera, should never have moved the camera, <laughs> it was better in the first place, there we go. Feeling a little bit better, it still, it still looks like a turtle, I can unsee that now. I don't know how to fix that visual that's now ingrained in my head forever. Let's I'm gonna I'm gonna doodle on it for a minute. See if I can so yeah like I nose And the ear goes there. I mean, okay. Let's, let's see here. Let's see here. All right. So, so the jawline is starting to feel sort of okay, I think. Here, add a little bit. That was too much water. Oh no. Um, I think add a little bit here. I'm bad at additive sculpting. I'm gonna stop saying that though. Today we're gonna we're gonna make it work. It's okay. It's just such a small such a small sheep head on such a large sheep body. That is part of the problem. Maybe we just need to, to scale to scale this whole adventure up. Maybe that is part of the issue. Maybe. We just need to go bigger. Just add clay all over.
I mean, but aren't quail... Okay. <laughs> what about horns with tiny quail sitting on them? Um, I think they're going to be in the way of the handle, actually, <laughs> is the main problem with that. Um, because the only place I could think to put a... Oh, I forgot I'm clipped to a thing. The only place I could think to put a handle is like a loop over the back. And I think that the horns will be in the way of this loop. Um, I don't know. They could be very small horns. That's a potential. Um, but yeah, now I'm now I'm just. For now, I'm just swinging in the dark. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just add clay. Add clay until, until it feels like something works. All right. I bring the jaw back and the head back farther, maybe. To, to sort of around here. Let's see if I can get that on to second camera. So just widening here. Bring the sort of shape of the head back farther. Seeing if it matches the other. Let's add a bit more to the other side. Here. Make it so you can't see what I'm doing on the other camera. Some angles just don't work. <laughs> just add clay. Yeah, I don't. It's, uh, I, I basically had to build it somehow around the spout because I need this spout to, like, properly pour. I kind of did the sheep guana, you know, like, it didn't really matter as much how nicely it poured because it was a bigger opening. But... But here I needed to build a, like a functional, proper pouring spout, which means, okay, that is just, that's not, that's not the shape of a sheep face is what, is what's happening here. All right, let's. Sorry, I go quiet when I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if this is working. But I don't know what to do about it if it's not. All right. All right, let's let's see. Hmm. I feel like part of the problem is the angle. This is meant in the drawing. This part of the head is pretty flat. pretty flat and then this bit just curls up in the the little sheep ba
No, still looks like a turtle. How is that? How is that happening? Okay, I have a, I have a bad plan, but it is a plan. I think there you are. I think that if I add some, just add some sort of wool bulk here, maybe it'll start to feel a little bit less like I'm making some kind of weird turtle. Um, yes, it does need ears, Auntie Shepherd, but uh, they're just fiddly little things that'll break off as I'm working on it, so they go on last. Um, Right now, I'm just not even happy with the shape of the head. I did not want to add this much clay to the neck, but I don't think I have a choice. The uh, the spout's getting kind of weak there already. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to thicken it up. Does that start to feel a little bit more like a sheep? I don't know. I still have questions. Like, there's the... And there's the nose. And there's... And there's the ear. I mean... It's... It's closer? Feeling closer? Um. Yeah, good. It looks like a cheap sheep trinit. Sheep that's that's sort of the point. Um, I'm gonna have to fiddle with it. Okay. So where's let's take let's let's do some shaping. Okay. Kind of flat on top. But then there's like a ridge where the the eyes go. Less less width, a little bit less width. A lot less width. Just a little bit less. T tidy it up some. Because then they kind of come in there as a little shape of their noses. Oh lord, and I don't know if I'm prepared to inset a separate kind of clay. So here's the thing about different kinds of clay, especially in small details, they shrink differently when they dry and then when they're fired. So what can happen is the uh, is the eyeballs could pop out. <laughs> and uh, and that would be traumatic, I feel. For everyone involved, but especially the sheep. So yeah, now we're now we're kind of gone. We've gone back to to reductive because I got a little bit too excited. I think adding adding sheep width. I need to add some shape now. Just I apologize by the way if you can hear the very loud fan of my computer. I don't know why it's so angry today. Doesn't like doesn't like being taken away from its from its workstation, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, so if I used a separate, I used a separate kind of clay, um, it could be, it could be bad. Okay. Jaw. How are we on this side? Jaw. Oops, we didn't smooth that out down there. Fix that. Okay. And then I knocked my laptop and now it's wobbling. Cool. Glad that didn't fall. <laughs> that could have been bad. Okay. Okay, sheep. Let's look at you from the front. Sheep have teeth. This is mostly a question for they might be scientists and anti-shepherd. Uh, sheep only have teeth on the bottom, right? It's the bottom, not the top. Just, just asking for, <laughs> for a sheep friend. Right, cool. Glad I remembered that correctly because so I don't want to add much inside here because I need it to pour nicely so what I think I'm gonna do instead of adding well I might I might add like a just a, a bit of a tongue because I kind of like I kind of like my sticking out cheap tongue going on sorry that was my elbow uh, what's what's are we talking about are we talking about sheep digestion <laughs> um okay so i want to give the impression of the inside of a sheep mouth without without making it impossible for the tea to pour. So I'm adding a little tongue. And then I'm kind of sort of removing it past just where it's visible, um, which is gonna be a pain in to tidy up. There we go. Because um, I just, I want the, that impression of the tongue sticking out, but I want the tea to still pour <laughs> nicely. Let's see if I can, if, oh no, fingernails. I even cut them short. Okay, let's see if I can get a, a little second camera. You're not really not really keeping up today, are ya? Just gonna dip this whole lump of clay in some water and stick it under plastic. Okay, fine. I will, that was not a tell. Okay, I will show you this way. Little tongue. I'm gonna fiddle with it, but I just wanted that little bit of tongue sticking out to give a character. See, purple tongues, that's super cool. All right. Um, so now I'm gonna fiddle with that a little bit unnecessarily. All right, leave that to sit. Let's go back and finish up. So we need kind of the ears attached here. The little ear, I don't want to say ear bases, I was gonna say ear stumps. That sounds um, like, like what's left after I've cut the ears off. And that's terrible. 
I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I shouldn't have finished that thought out loud. <laughs> She would be she would be one of your guesses. Uh, oh no. Why are you spinning, laptop? What has happened? Oh, I'm sitting on your cable. That's not ideal. I'm sorry. Technical difficulties. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Let's just add some add some wool because I recognize that I'm going to have to add bulk to to this spout because it's starting to lose its structural integrity as I squish it. So I don't want to I don't want to make it worse. So I'm just going to admit that I need to add some some wool. And I think at least for now I'm going to do that kind of this I'm gonna try and remove the the really high ridges but I'm I'm gonna kind of do the thing I did with the bowls where I've I'm leaving kind of the rough squidge the rough squidge lines in there you know um, for for wool wool texture Oh, they, uh, Auntie Shepherd, we we made a whole we made a whole animal tea set earlier, um, in chat, um, where the the quail is the is the cream milk pitcher and a turtle is the uh, sugar, is the sugar container. So. So we're way ahead of you. All right. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling less feeling less less inadequate and and sad now. Thanks for sticking with me, chat. I'm back. I'm gonna talk to you again. Um, got into a bit of a I hate how this is going moment. Art is like that sometimes. Sometimes you uh. Sometimes you have a moment where you're like, nope, this isn't this doesn't look like what I wanted it to. I'm a failure. Um, and then you get over it, and then you move on. And, uh, and I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back from the, uh, I'm bad at sculpting place. Hi, I hope everyone had fun in chat while I was gone. So I'll just read back a minute. Um. Oh yeah, what would what would the snake be in the in the tea set? Hmm. Hi, Mad Badger too. Yeah, that moment when you're like, mm, no, this is bad, and I'm it's going bad, it's going bad, and I'm live. <laughs> it's going bad, and everyone's watching. Um, that's the hard part of streaming, when you're like, oh, I'm making a thing, and it doesn't look like I want it to, and. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone is still here watching me make it. Oh, snake spoons. I like it. A snake. Oh, like a snake stirry thing. Just like a, a little, little stirring spoons. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait. Snake sugar cube, oh sugar cube grabber. How, what's a sugar cube grabber look like? That's not a. Th I guess it's it's like tongs. Is it? How does? How does? I don't know. Um. Anyway, yeah, we're definitely making a quail pitcher now. Um, that's just a thing that happens in the future. Oh yeah. Oh right. So fancy tong things. I don't know how to make ceramic jointed tongs, but they would be great if they were to wrap together snakes, wouldn't they? What if what if chopsticks instead of tongs? 
Ooh, Oxalato Candle Holder. I do need to make more Oxalato. I've only got the one left. Where, how does he hold the candle, though? Is he curled around it? Is he holding it in his little feet? What's, uh... What's the appropriate... On, on his on his head with his little with his little um with his little with his little gills supporting it oh let's see yeah um real here I'll turn or turn you back towards the towards the camera oh just second camera since I unhooked you and moved you, you've been, you've been really, really misbehaving. Hey chat, remember this is a family friendly stream where we try really hard not to curse and uh, and keep things clean. <laughs> it's true, I did make Auntie Shepherd a quail with a top hat. Um, and yeah, the nice thing about snakes is that you can basically, um, no, it's all right, Hannah, you can, you can, uh, you can leave it as long as, uh, as long as it doesn't continue. Thank you, moderator Hannah. Um, okay, now, now you can moderate. <laughs> if we're gonna, if we're gonna, um, if we're gonna be weird about it. Go for it. Uh -huh. Oh, it's dinner time for Jabberwocky, or not Jabberwocky. You're both purple now. Figment's, I'm sorry, I'm not a great reader, but I'm good at color. Um, Figment's maid said, uh, said I need to go for food. And uh, why can't you all be different colors? Uh, oh, congratulations on paying off your car, Tenchi 3 Nice. Freedom. All right. Um. Let's let's get it there. Um. I don't know, moderator Hannah, if you have access to the rules, but uh, if I accidentally change them for one of the Saturday streams to PG-13 instead of G, could you uh, could you go back and do that if you have access to that? You might not. I don't know. But, uh... But, you know. Okay, I'll fix them later. I don't, it's cool. Um, I consider the warning the thing I literally said very politely out loud. Um, and if you're gonna argue with my own rules, then uh, that's weird, is what I'm saying. But that's fine. Cause we're about, we're about to have we're about to get to the fun part where we put features on the sheep face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hannah, that's like, that's, it's, it's not, it's not the, uh, it wasn't the first post, it was the second. Um.
like as if because my rules were wrong in my stream I was yeah anyway um it's not fun or interesting so let's talk about let's talk about sheep teapot Oh, you all are going to change your colors? Oh, that's so... Thank you for being individual colors. <laughs> that's, uh, all right. So, so here's, here's our general, our general sheep so far. I'm, uh, I'm prepared to do... I'm pre oh, just put my hand in the clay. Okay, I'm prepared to, to do some of... So, horns. Mm. I need a picture. Oh no, I can't Google. I'm covered in clay. I need a picture of sheep with horns. Um, do I have a picture of sheep with horns? Just oh, I might have one just handy. Hang on, maybe I've got one just laying around on my desk. That happens sometimes. Nope, nope. I just have the uh, sheep bowl. It's uh, and some chickadees and some owls. Oh, and here's the axolotl. I don't throw things away, you guys. Oh, um, there we go. I, let's see, horns, where do horns attach? Do horns attach back behind the ears? I don't, all right. I'm gonna get clay on my keyboard now. And I can't see you for a second, chat, I'm sorry. Sheep horns. Okay. Visuals, images, webcam settings, you're just really in the way, but okay. So, th those are bighorn sheep. They're not, there we go. You're the, you're the sort of sheep I'm looking for. think. Yeah, with your little black sheep faces. Okay, it's above the ears. Where in the world am I going to put this picture? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm going to drag it over here. And that'll be open. Oh no, but but problems. I'll be back in a second, chat, I promise. I can't see you right now because I've only got the laptop and I'm trying to find a sheep with horns because it was requested. There, I found it. It's fine. Oh no, what will I never know? Okay, okay, I've got it, I found it. Everything's fine. Um, so, so horns are like here. Okay, I need to just do this, I think, to make this visually work for me. It's true, and I've, and now I'm cutting you, hang on. Ugh, <laughs> oh, the edge of chat is getting, this is too many windows. Okay. It's true, I'll never know, Tenchi3. I don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna scroll up again. I don't know, I don't know what happened while I was gone. I'll never, I'll never know. Um. So, this needs some water. Sheep horns. I will never know what happened. That's okay. <laughs> Sweep all the extra. Oh. Uh. Quail. My guess is always quail. What happened? Quail. I don't know how, but quail. No, oh, that's too much. Okay, what we need is like a little, a little horn nub. Like, just a little, just a little wee horn. <laughs> how many? I mean, I, quail are pretty small. You can fit a lot of quail under a rug, I think. What is tentacle? What? Someone's gone out and found all of the good 
all the good emotes. Had no idea there was a tentacle one. All right. Because, like, horn kind of goes straight from there, right? So, uh, can I... See, now I can't see my camera, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So there's, like, a horn there, and then, like, an ear. Okay, how big an ear? Pretty big. Sheeps, sheeps have pretty, pretty decently scaled ears here. All right. So, like an ear here. So, like, that's kind of the general idea. That feels correct, right? It's like a, yeah, like that feels like that's how that works. Um, cool, I'm just gonna leave those delicately positioned where they are and try and make two that match them. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, Bob, that, no, that's Bob Ross with sunglasses. It's Bob Ross with, <laughs> with uh, aviator shades, I wanna say. Oh no. I do, I do love Bob Ross. Who doesn't love Bob Ross? If, if Bob Ross can't make you want to paint, no one can. Just, I mean, all those happy trees. Cause now, so now, now I have the trick of trying to make the exact same size on the other side. Is that the same base, pretty much? Yeah, Bob Ross is the best. And there's a Bob Ross Twitch channel that just sort of plays reruns of his broadcasts, and it's beautiful. If you ever, if you ever just want to relax in the evening to a Twitch stream. Bob Ross. Bob Ross is here. That's too long. Oh no. Too much, too much, too much sheep horn. Oh, ear fell off. <laughs> uh. That's fine. I'll put it back. Don't you worry. It's true. I think I think my favorite quote about anything I've done may be Auntie Shepherd calling me the Bob Ross of weird clay animals. Like, oh, that's nice. That's what we want to be. We want to be. We want to be nice and chill. And happy little animals. That's better. Those feel like they're the same. Okay, where did the ear go? fell off. Well, that's okay. We need to make another one anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sheep, 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 sheep Bob Ross puns. Oh. Bob Ross is an anthro sheep. Oh, Bob Ross. Oh no, chat. Taking taking the puns to a new level. Happy little a happy little sheep teapot. With uh with happy little horns. Okay, sheep ears. A little bit, a little bit off the end, I think. Yeah, sheep ear. Do 
just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, happy, happy little quail. Still, still here. Still a part of the, still a part of the adventure. Oh, that tea is very cold. Mm. All right. Sheep ears. Why do they have them pointing up? If I guess sheep can kind of point. I don't know. It's fine. Sheep ears. Sheep ear. Sheep ear. And then. I don't know which is which anymore. Sheep horn. And sheep horn. And then. And then that. <laughs> All right. Then that's kind of basically where they go. Just look at his little face. Is his little face in the wrong part of the camera? I don't know. Yeah, over here. Sheep. Sheep. Oh. Okay. Where's, where's my ear? Okay. Time to properly attach this. Less interesting, but I wanted to get you guys the visual before I turned it so that you can't see it and and squidged everything on. All right, there we go. It's a uh, Oh, it's almost, we've almost been at this for two hours. Um, so now's a good time to remind you that uh, if you aren't following me on Twitch, if you could do that, that'd be cool. Uh, you don't have to keep watching. You don't have to set the email settings or anything. But if 50 people finally follow me on Twitch, uh, I can make a sheep guana emoji. Uh, that's it. That's the only reason. Um, I mean, I guess you could also subscribe when that, like, I open it up to subscribers, but I don't care because I kind of prefer the Patreon and I can show you pictures. But, but if 50 people, if 50 people follow me on Twitch, I can, uh, I can give you a sheep guana emoji that you can use in chat and wouldn't that be great um, she, I can maybe put a quail in I don't know how the rules work and how many I'm allowed to have I probably have to get higher on the on the echelons to to have a bunch of different ones but um, but at the very least Sheep guana. It's a it's a happy sheep. All right. Trying to get things attached properly here. Where's my other tool? There's my other tool. You're a better tool for this. A little wooden pointy stick. Okay. Wooden pointy stick. I'll tidy up the the horn attachment later so that it's a little bit more sheep appropriate but for now I just don't want them to fall off so, uh oh are we having a sheep versus goat lesson what if it's a sheep cosplaying as black Phillip oh dear
I mean, it's a sheep cosplaying as a teapot is what it is, really. Let's put a lot of effort into its cosplay so that you can actually get tea out of it. It's really exciting. A lot of engineering went into it. You should definitely be impressed. Uh, that sounded weirdly arrogant. Um, by the by, the fictional sheep cosplaying the teapot, not by my sheep teapot. <laughs> um, I was, I was telling you the story of the imaginary cosplaying sheep. Okay. Ears, are you are you about about well enough attached? Okay. I mean, you can definitely draw a straight line with a ruler or Tenchi three. I'm I'm confident. I'm confident that with a ruler and a good sharp pencil, you can draw a straight line. That's what rulers are for. Without a ruler, no. Oh no, Otenchi 3. I'm trying to be so encouraging. And you're like, nope. It's never happened. It never will. Fair enough. I bow I bow to your to your better understanding of your skills. I found a website that automatically constructs for you a cone pattern. Just bring out my this is what I used for the base of this teapot. Um, it auto constructs it for you with measurements of how tall and how like why do you want the top and the base to be and it's the best thing and no one I tell is excited is as excited about it as me except maybe except maybe mouse girl she was pretty she was pretty excited but uh but I was like oh my god it's the best thing in the world I'm gonna make so many more teapots now because previously I was trying to use math and it was terrible but now there's just a website that'll just generate it automatically Oh yeah, I don't think I told you, Hannah. Now, now you know for a fact that there is a website that uh, that generates an exploded cone pattern, and it's just so good. Um, I will, I'll tweet the site. Um, I'll tweet the site after after we wrap up today. Um, when I do the little thanks for coming closing tweet. So if y'all if y'all wanna grab that, then. Um, I'll put it there. I, I would show you now, but there's enough clay on my keyboard already. <laughs> it's uh if we were digital arting, I would just send it the link to chat, but but my hands are covered in clay. So gonna just wait and send it to you. You know, with a photo of the very good sheep teapot. Alright. Let's get those horns. Just fiddle with them a little bit. The sheep is really shaping up. All right. It's true. Uh, my roommate was out. And uh, she was like, I'll try and come home so that you don't hear me on the stream. <laughs> I'll try and I'll try and delay it until. And I told her it was fine if we hear her on the stream. She just then becomes a story. <laughs> mm. 
you know. All right. Okay, so. So. One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> I'm going to need to, oh no, one ear is lower than the other. Oh no. Mistakes were made. I'm gonna just squidge it upwards and hope for the best. Yeah, that worked, that worked fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Now it's time to, to fiddle with the tongue. I need my sponge again. Oh, hey, I'm gonna get some more clay on this poor mouse. It's dying because of clay, I think. But I, close this window and see what I'm doing again. There we go. Camera, camera controls. I don't know why my second camera is blurry today. It's like when I, I use it for a video conference and now since I've unplugged it and moved it and had to reestablish it, it's mad at me, I guess. I don't know what happened. Um, but anyway. Now, now is the time to tidy up that tongue, <laughs> to tidy up the sheep tongue. So it's had a minute to set and be a little bit less wet. So I, that, this whole sentence is going weird. Um, you know what I mean. The clay is firmer so I can edit it gently without just creating a sticky squidgy mess. Yeah. Squidgy is back, my favorite word. Because I want to make sure that it's nice and smooth inside because tea still has to pour out around it. All right, a little, little bit of sheep tongue. Tongue tidying time, yes. Oh no, oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry if anyone's, uh, it's a dental tool if that helps. If anyone's concerned about my tongue depressing. Um, all right, how do I, let's, I kind of want to, to figure out what to do with this. It kind of goes down a little bit, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, like, like, like that a little bit. Is that, yeah, 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 okay. It's true, it's true, it, it, it's, uh, speaking of which, I think I need to, I need to just tidy up, oh, no, I stabbed the tongue, no, oh, I hate it when the dentist does that, <laughs> oh, no, okay, it's fine, everything's fine, I just want to kind of, There we go. It's a little bit off center. Oh well. Such as it is. Okay. Sheep. Okay. Oh. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know. I'm probably not keeping this teapot. Um, largely, largely because, uh, because I think that, that Auntie Shepherd <laughs> might, okay, wait, does sheep have like a little, how do they, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, sorry. Had a moment of, of how do sheep work there. Um, but sheep knows is how um, 
even though I had a drawing. It's only from one view, because of course it is. Anyway, um, Auntie Shepard will, 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 uh, she has a spear and she'll, she'll, she'll wield it to get this teapot. So, you know, that's, uh, it's just a thing I've, I, I accepted before I made it, honestly. Um, besides, I have the snake teapot. That's my teapot that I'm never giving up. That's just, that's just how it's going to be. My teapot is snakes. All right, is that? Hey, sheep experts. Sheep nose? Yes, no. Sheep nose? Besides more frontal assault. Not so much sneaking, more just, just breaking in and, and taking it. Is that, okay. No, that is not how, okay. Sheep, I have to, I have to, I have to Google sheep nose. That's not, that's not the button for Google. Um, I just got a weird OBS warning, so I hope that that's still fine. Oh yeah, okay, they, they meet, I see what's happened. They do have a little split lip sheep nose. I, I was incorrect. Okay. There we go. Have a sheep nose picture. Um, I, I'm gonna check OBS. I think maybe OBS crashed. No, surely not. No, it's still there. It's still working. Okay. Cool. Everything's fine. Whatever, computer. Okay. Back to sheep nose. Okay. Is that? And that. So. So, so, so. Oh, let's see. Second camera, are you, are you any use? Are you any use to us today? Straight line. And then nose, nose. Yeah, that's that's more that's more sheep nose. Just type one for a minute, and all of a sudden they're a workhouse. I mean, on brand, it happens. These things, these things occur. All right. They've got a little, a little uptick and then. Eh. All right, we'll get there. So, so, sheep nose, sheep nose, sheep nose. <laughs> this is a sheep nose. Previous nose was not a sheep nose. Google corrected me visually after <laughs> Auntie Shepherd corrected me functionally. Um, there's, yeah, there's always been a battle cow, I think. Uh, but now there's also a spear. It's a... Uh, But that's not, that's not 
that's not this stream. That's not our fault. The, the, what was, oh, the cheese, the cheese, yes, I'm sorry. I was trying to think of what we ended up with last week and it was a bin chicken with, um, with a cheese crossbow is what happened. All right. Yes. Good sheep. You look like a sheep. That is really, frankly, okay. Ah, uh, put a lid on you. Oh. Uh. There we go. Sheep, sheep, sheep. <laughs> Pin chicken. Yes. Australia, a place that really exists. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Usually I'm usually I'm more uh usually I'm more talkative with uh with sculpting, but I've had trouble keeping up this week, I think. I think I've finally challenged myself to the point that I could no longer do two things at once. Um yeah, last last week's chat was uh, an adventure. We learned we learned there are people that think Australia isn't a real place, that it's a a, a conspiracy. Which is, um, I mean, you can go there. <laughs> I don't. It's it's right there. Yeah, last week was quite a, quite a stream. Um. But the thing that the best thing to come out of it, I think we can all agree, um, besides the uh, besides the slogan Australia, a real a real place that really exists, is the bin chicken with the uh, with the cheese crossbow. So yeah, work out, not our fault. Almost anything involving birds and weaponry, probably chat's fault. All right, I'm just, where did my, you know what, where did my marbles go? Ah, such a thing to say out loud. Okay, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to remarble here to try and, and blend, and blend new wool with old wool a little. Marble does not fit really between the horns, so... We'll just have to deal with that as it comes, but just kind of tidy that up. There we go. Okay. Oh no, we have to do sheep eyes now. We have to do sheep eyes and I have to make them look, look nice, nice and lovable, but also like real sheep eyes. Okay. Clean up the nose here just a little bit quickly with my fingertips. All right, sheep eyes. Sheep eyes. Yeah, I know this is the, this is the first time marbles has ever come up actually. All right, I don't I don't know if I can get a good angle on doing the eyes for you guys cuz I can't hold it in one hand and do draw them in with the other. They're kind of... Just to, to sh show you what I've sketched anyway, we'll go with, we'll start with that. Is that kind of there? They have that little like, like weepy tear duct looking angle that I like. Um, oh no. Why are we all shouting quail? What happened? Oh, oh, we just we just brought it up. I see. Quail, yes, quail, quail, quail. Every time you shout quail, I'll just. I could actually. Quail. Quail. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's a, still a little bit small in keeping with the sheep, but I wanted it to, you know, wanted it to match. Anyway, quail. Um, so there's the eye sketch, anyway. Um, which now I have to do on the other side. So I'm going to attempt to... 
kind of generally mark where things go. How far down does it go though? Just like there. Okay. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> make a joke once it's original, make it twice, and it's been done. But make it 20 times, <laughs> and it's suddenly fine again. <laughs> oh no. I mean, seething massive rats is, is fine, but kids don't don't play Plague Tale. It's horrifying. <laughs> Moderate my own messages. <laughs> oh, Hannah Hannah bans herself for thirty seconds. It's uh. <laughs> Who moderates the moderator? Um. Yeah, well, I, what I want to know is why video games have this sort of preoccupation with like rats behaving like schools of piranhas. <laughs> why do they think that's a thing? I don't. Like what? Get enough, get enough rats together, and don't fall in the water. Like I don't, I don't know who gave them that idea. I don't, I don't have anyone else willing to, willing to put forth the effort to show up and moderate. I'm afraid I don't. You volunteered. I was like, nah, I don't need it. And then you were like, but I could do it. And I'm like, cool. You, you can do it. Um, otherwise, it would be me trying to find the buttons with my hands covered in clay. And we don't want that. Oh, I don't like this eyeball as much. Why not? Ah, I see. Why not? Because the shape isn't as good. Because previous one had kind of a... There we go. Okay, maybe. All right, sorry, I'm changing the lighting. I need my, I need my light to come from a new angle. Cause we're gonna make an eye and I, again, I don't know that I can get it on camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Artcraft, Artcraft wants to, wants to be Wants to be the, the the one moderator for moderating the one moderator. Oh no! Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking of. Auntie Shepherd is, is specifically the game Dishonored, which you are supposed to be able to play sort of like a sense a, like without killing anyone. You hurt people because it's a video game, but like you know, you're supposed to be able to to sort of do a like a super peaceful like just knock people out sneak around them kind of thing um but there are like swarms of piranha rats <laughs> and uh it's you know it's weird Um, but no, we don't need a lot of moderation, or we didn't. I don't know. I don't know what that was about earlier. Um, previously, it was like a bot every couple of streams, I guess. Um, and that was about it. I don't know. I don't know if that will change. kind of hope not. Y'all are, y'all are, 
are nice. We bend the rules sometimes, but. True, we've 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 learned we've learned that 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 Hannah simply can't can't control her her herself enough to to be the only moderator. Is that what's happening? Chat's like, but can we trust her? <laughs> I need supervision. Oh dear. I mean, I'll, I'll hire a second unpaid moderator that I don't need if that's what you want. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we don't need to be adults. We just need to be well-behaved children. <laughs> that's all. You know. All right. I think I'm going to end up doing what I did with the goose. And, and fiddling with this, with the eye a little bit later. But that's a solid basis anyway. So let's, let's share sheep, um, sheep eye. And then of course I will, where's my tool? Where's my weird, where's my, my weird rectangular? Are you about the right size? I'll fiddle with that in a minute, but I have a, a basic, basic rectangular pupil tool. <laughs> so, shape eye. Oh no, that's what you get for in, for installing Polytonic Greek as a keyboard option. Um, Hey, hey everybody, here's exciting news. My computer was shutting itself down uh, at random for the last week and a half. And uh, last week I figured out why and fixed it. <laughs> and that's cool and makes me happy. I'm just gonna knock things on the floor apparently. I'm just gonna beat this with a spoon. Give me a second. There we go. I feel better now. Um, but yeah, my laptop no longer. Surprise reboots. Um, and that's so good. Uh, turns out my uh, audio preferences were corrupt and I had to delete them and reboot. I've decided to blame my lavalier mic. It's, oh, and just because you said that, <laughs> it needs texture. There we go. How else is it gonna get texture if I don't hit it with a wooden spoon? <laughs> this is just how it is. <laughs> Let's have it, have it shouting into the second camera. Oh, he looks so happy. She looks so happy. I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's a, I don't have a gendered, is it a U or a RAM? I don't know. Oh, actually that looks kind of, that looks kind of good. I might, oh, I might keep that. So, so chat, I was just, I was trying to, to ease up a little bit of a, of a join. And I started doing little squiggly, like, like lines with the tool. And I feel like that actually might be a nice wool texture. Um, and the camera, <laughs> the, hang on, I think, I think if I, if I change my light position, it will help. Um, let's, let's see if I can, yeah, like that kind of, there we go. Just kind of a, a little, little short squidge lens. Aw, thank you, Hannah. That's, that's really, this is a teapot that an ancient Babylonian king would use. And like, that's goals, pot, pot goals. 
Yeah, I think we're going to carry on with that. That's a nice texture. Yeah, I'll stop hitting the sheep. It's okay. That was just that one time. Um, <laughs> ah, it sounds... No, there's no way to, to just... To describe that, that doesn't sound like I'm abusing a sheep. Um, I'm not sculpting. It's necessary. I'm forming a sheep from scratch. Some some processes are more active than others. I mean, I, I before before it became a sheep, I hit it with that spoon a lot. Um, there's a lot of clay on that spoon now, and I do use it to cook. I should probably get another wooden spoon and not use the same one for clay and for sautéing. Just why am I doing this left-handed? What madness is this? And yet I don't stop. Chat, I'm right-handed. And yet everything in this setup means that this is the direction of the sheep and I don't want to hit the ear. <laughs> oh. If you were aware sheep, oh no. I don't... Yeah, I don't... Well, first of all, I'd rather be a were goat, I think, um, just because they seem more athletic. I don't. <laughs> I mean, wooden spoons are are not an expensive implement. Um, but I, to be fair, I've never I've never done that before with the wooden spoon. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll facilitate, I'll facilitate the sharing of wooden spoons. Um, I'll, I'll put up a, put up a well-reasoned wooden spoon Amazon thing. I mostly impulse shop for tools. <laughs> I mostly just show up at a, at a at a clay or art store and like gaze lovingly upon them, um, and then and then pick one out to carry home and cherish forever. Carry it to my car, clutch to my chest. Oh no, where ox? It would be really unfortunate to be a wear axolotl, I think. There's a lot of logistical issues with that. But again, left-handed, and I don't know why. Why am I, why, why do I do this to myself? Just very slowly, back to right-handed. It's safer. There we go. Oh. <gasps> You could carve me a spoon with a snake handle? That would be so good. I wouldn't use it for clay though. I would just carry it around and tell it it was a good snake. See, I don't have the problem that you guys have with like the, cause I'm forming a thing. I, I feel like it's like it's parent. I don't have the problem that you guys have with the with this, the, 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 the hitting of the clay and such. But I will personify almost anything. Like stick googly eyes on it and I'll be like, no, don't make the spoon sad. <laughs> like I'm, I'm perfectly capable of giving a personality to like my KitchenAid mixer. And to be fair, that, that thing was expensive, so. So be nice to it. <laughs> Snoon, snake spoon. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, um, so I had, for a long time, I had um, my grandmother's old sewing machine. 
but it, some like the bobbin winder had stopped working and I wanted something that did um, button holes in one step so I'd gotten a new one and someone on the little community free cycling website asked for a sewing machine and it wasn't until I'd like given it to them and they'd left with it that I realized that there, were, there was a googly eye face stuck on the side that I just did not remove. <laughs> so so they got home and were like, why, why is there a glasses wearing googly eye face on this sewing machine? Um, I guess its name is, is David and it's very serious about literature. I don't, um, but yeah, like it, it doesn't even, figments made, it doesn't even matter if it's for me or not. Now, now you must, now you must carve a, a snoon. You must you must make a snake spoon and share it with all of us. We need to know. We need to we need to see. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and doing this. I've started I've started just putting just putting texture on, just like, no, this is nice and meditative. I'm not gonna do that during the stream. That's a, it's not an ideal choice. Um for you guys to just watch me like noodle along. But oh, my cat is very disappointed um, because my roommate's been gone for like the day <laughs> and it's not acceptable. Um, all right, sheep. Ah, that's what I forgot. This side does not have, does not have a pupil. Okay, where are we at at time? Okay, 5.30, that's not too bad. I've lost my small, my very small tool. Oh, it's here somewhere. Did I put it away? That would have been clever of me. No. How did I lose a tool on my like two feet of desk? Well, well, somewhere there's a tool for making those pupils and I'll do it later, I guess. <laughs> Oops. I don't know. I mean, it is like a, a one inch long piece of tiny pipe, but but it was right here. Did I drop it in with the clay? No. No, it's, it's, it's super gone. Maybe it fell on the floor. I don't know. We'll find it later. We'll, we'll, we'll find it later. So I kind of feel like I'm going to just use these, these sort of press marks and, and the, the hammered kind of, this hammered texture just gonna sort of do an example to kind of do the wool because the shape already sort of gives us the the the, the breadth of the sheep um, and I don't want to add clay to the body so much because it's already about three quarters you know, it's already sort of about that thick um, and I don't want to add too much clay to the body. And I actually feel like, especially for Sh for Auntie Shepherd, who keeps soy sheep, that this kind of shorter, shorter texture wool is more appropriate. Um, yeah, that's that's. See, I have the little rectangular. I have the rectangular stamp on this side, but then I lost it. So it's not on this side yet. But we'll get there. Um, on my left, so I've got a marble and a thing, and a quail. No, nope, I don't know. Okay, we'll find it later. It does not matter. I mean, it will matter eventually, but it does not matter now. Um, but yes. Um, so, we've got one, sort of, two, two big steps. Three, three <laughs> steps left. I'm bad at this. Um, we've got three steps left. Um, legs, obviously. Um, we gotta sort of round out the bottom a little bit and, uh, and add little sheep's legs. Um, a little tail back here, a little tail. Um, and then we need the loops here and here to which will attach um, the handle because it will be, I didn't want to do a handle on the back because it's got such a heavy front and because there's no like sheep 
have sort of little dainty tails. Um, so instead I wanted to have it be a top pour, so you hold it and pour it like that. Um, just because I felt like that would facilitate the scale and shape better. Um, I know, that's what I'll do. When we're done, I'll scroll back through the video and be like, oh, that's where it went. Um, but yeah, so we need legs, a uh, tail, and little loops to attach the pouring handle so that sheep can pour tea. Lastly, um, it looks a little big. I measured my teapot. I wanted to make a teapot that would serve more than one person. And as much as I love my snake teapot, it's about a two cup teapot. Like it serves, it serves one person, basically. Um, and this will shrink about, I don't know, it's recycled clay, so I'm guessing 12%, probably more like 10 or 11. But I've gone for the upper end because more tea is better than less tea. So. Um. Hey, look, Auntie Shepherd, I know that there are people you will share tea with. I know it. Um, I, I, I believe. You turn to Ursula right now and you tell her you're willing to share tea out of the sheep teapot with her. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just wanted a teapot that was sort of not a single tiny personal pot size, a bigger size. And I'm bad at judging shrinkage. So this is the size we have and I hope that it's, uh, that it turns out okay. It, it's a two-hander right now. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you to just shout it out, but later reassure her. <laughs> um, yes, actually, the lid shrinking less than the pot can be a problem, Mad Badger 2. Um, the main problem, though, and one of the reasons that it's better... So, if I were to glaze, for example, the inside of this and this rim, I would have to fire these separately. And what happens when firing is that things warp slightly. And if... I fire them separately and the lid warps more than the pot or in a different way, they won't fit anymore. So one of the things that's good to do is fire them together so that they all kind of share heat and if they warp, they're kind of warping together. The danger of that is that if you're not very careful with the glaze, it will run and you will get these things stuck together. Um, the, uh, the snake teapot slid actually a little bit and got stuck in one point but it was just a little and it, it came off pretty easily just in your hand. But it can, yeah, they can warp. And because it is smaller, it will often warp more than the teapot. So you are correct. That is in particular a problem. All right. I don't know where my plastic under here is anymore. There it is. Okay. Let's do some legs in our last half hour here. Let's... All right, see ya, Hannah. Have fun seeing murder by death. Hope you have a good concert night. We're gonna make sheep legs. All right, our lump of leftover clay here. I'm gonna use this piece as I'm just gonna gonna use this piece as a gauge for how for how thick we want to make the legs. Obviously thinner than this, but we want them to look sort of still sheep dainty enough. Like they'd be a little cartoonishly large, but not too large. Tell the collie. I guess you can't really tell the collie. He can hold it. Uh, Auntie Shepherd must take her dog outside, and that is fair. Um, so yeah, let's let's figure out how we how thick we need sheep legs to kind of in the drawing. In the drawing, we've got. Let's use. I have a stick somewhere. Here we go. Um, so in the drawing. 
the width of the leg, just as a sketch, is about the same as like, mm, we'll use the lid, a third of the lid. Obviously that's like a rough guess. Sorry about the camera there. Everything started to fall apart. Um, that's like a rough guess, but, and this lid is sort of wider than that lid. So we're gonna kind of use like the interior. So that kind of feels like we're close to about where we wanna be. We need it to be thick enough to hold up the sheep, um, but not so thick that it looks odd. will be good-ish. Yeah, I don't know, my moderator's gone, you guys. <laughs> what happens now? I don't, I don't know how any of the tools work. Didn't occur to me I would have to moderate, ever. I know, silly, because then I actively tried to find more people to watch me stream, but whatever. <laughs> I just assumed that everyone would be fine. All right, so, eh, might have made it too thin there at the end. Let's see. It's a bit, mm, yep, I think I did. I think we're gonna have to start that coil over. I think I got carried away trying to even it out and made it too thin. That's okay. We can, we can fix it. We can start over. Give us some legs, and once we have some legs, we will do what we learned with the sheep bowls, which is make a little clay pedestal for the sheep teapot to sit on. Round out the bottom, set it on the pedestal, attach the legs, and then all the legs will sit on the floor, but without having the pressure of holding up the teapot while it all dries. And ideally that will work really well, worked really well with the sheep bowls, like surprisingly well. Um, how was I? Mm, a little bit thinner. Okay. But not as thin as I went last time. Yeah, so like two legs and grab some more clay. About the same amount. Still trying to figure out where the tiny brass stamp went. Maybe it fell in, nope. Nope, it was a good thought, but no, it did not. Anyway, <laughs> making some back legs with another, another rolled coil. Is that enough? That's probably enough. Yeah, that's probably enough. Now I roll this out to the same thickness as the other one. I know it wobbles the camera and I'm sorry. I do have a tendency to be to be bad at judging the amount of clay that's needed and also the shrinkage. I'm not for a sculptor, I'm bad at I'm bad at volume. Great at flat geometry. I don't know, I've made this coil kind of oval. Fix that. Oh, my cat woke up and ate all of his cat food. What a good boy. Okay, almost there. And I can always carve into these too. I didn't have to with the sheep bowl, but I can always carve into these um, once they're a little bit, there we go, once they're a little bit harder. I can always, <laughs> uh, turns out, turns out you never actually had to leave. Okay, that's too small. Just gonna have to use the needle tool. All right, cutting these in half for legs. 
All right. What's your front and what's your back? These are front because the back legs need to be slightly longer. Okay. So. Sheep legs. This point don't need to be very complicated. But basically just that. And then this one needs to match. So basically just, just curved a little bit. I'm not chopping legs up. I'm I'm forming them from, from the raw the raw material. So I have to chop enough material to make a leg. Otherwise there'd only be the one. Okay. So just gonna gonna shape some sort of a little bit of hoof there. There we go. Keep them at about the same. So these are the front legs. And then the back legs need sort of the hint of a of a hawk of a hawk. So but they can't be too much taller than the front legs or it won't work and you won't see the won't see the detail. Second camera, are you helping at all at this point? Sort of. Let's see if we can't fix the lighting. There we go. I say there we go like it helped. I have no idea if it helped. Yes, a hint a hint of a hawk. How are we for yeah, good. Good. Legs. Little little stubby legs. Second camera makes no Yeah, second camera second camera is is like it's gone all like violently dimly lit with, with exciting lighting and I don't know I don't know what's happened there I don't know I don't know why it's why it's so concerned suddenly with like making this some sort of noir drama but but I'll fix it later all right there we go. We've got some sheep legs and the sound of trash bins being rolled past my window. It's gotten very exciting here all of a sudden. There we go. Legs, legs. All right. You're not going to like this bit, everyone. If you if you didn't like if you didn't like the previous, um, this is actually almost. This is pretty pretty much leather hard. There's not a whole lot I can do to this. So I'm going to wrap it back up in plastic because I'm a little bit concerned it's getting too dry compared to the rest. Oh good. I'm glad I'm glad that you I'm glad that you said so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know why 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 this and now it's like look it's like all blown out there but like now here it's like I don't know. I don't know why the second camera is weird. Anyway, we're going to hit it with a spoon some more, so I apologize. Oh, you know what? We're holding it up in the air. So, let's just let's just take a tiny moment and shift the focus. No, too much. Too little. Come on. There we go. Look at that crisp. See there? That's what I'm talking about. Rectangular, <laughs> rectangular people. Um, so. No, we're not, we're not hitting the legs with, we're not hitting the legs with anything. We're hitting, we, we have to round out, we have to round out the bottom of the sheep. And the way we're going to do that. is with this spoon. See, look how nice and round that's becoming. With gentle, gentle spoon taps. 
so. That's pretty good. I don't want to do too much rounding. Um, so. Yeah, second camera does its own thing. I don't know. Second camera doesn't doesn't really know what it wants. Second camera cost fifteen dollars. <laughs> There's a Patreon goal for a better camera setup. Oh, it's for its Oh, uh, see, when you say things like that, and then I'm like, it's for his own good. Like, I don't, there's no, I can't win. That's a terrible thing to say. Um, but, but it's how, it's how we're, it's how we're becoming round. I'm going to just clean up this join, because this is where the, uh, where the bottom and the sides join. So there's a, a a bit of a push and pull going on there when I when I flatten it in and I want to just make sure that that is really secure because if it's not the bottom of the sheep will fall out and that would be awful So y'all think this is violent. I think it's actually a very pleasing noise and sensation. It's like a nice, a nice hollow thud. Yeah, I'm like, it's such a nice sound. All right. That's sort of been secured there. It's nice and round. I'm gonna just go inside quickly with a tool. Not that tool though, <laughs> this tool. Nice flat, just, um, just to clean up inside a little bit. Tidy up that seam, make sure that everything looks good. Make sure that that, that sheep pot is Good and safe. Okay. Bit of clay fell out. Don't know where that's from. All right. Now we have. Oh, let's notice. Clean up this a little bit here. Seeing more seam. Just tidy up the edge. Oh, let's see. Blend it together. So that it looks nice. Yeah, always always take care of your inner sheep. Not just not just your outer sheep. Take time for your inner sheep. Okay. Good. Now nice subtle curve so it feels more or less rounded it sits nicely in my hand but when I put it flat on the ground this bottom is going to squish in so for starters we're going to put it on a sponge let's see yeah okay can we put it upside down on a sponge? Will this go horribly wrong? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, anyway. Um, we'll, we'll put it this way on a sponge and then fix it in a minute. Just find its, there we go. So, now that we've got the bottom sort of rounded off, we need to figure out where the <laughs> so the bottom the bottom seems nice yes um so now legs which means i need to figure out how high up i want this and if the legs feel too big or not they feel a little bit a little bit big 
to put it there, angle it in. And then this one here. Angle it that way. Well, maybe not. Maybe they feel okay. They do have to hold up the whole the whole sheep. They do feel maybe a little tall. So let's just so that's kind of where hmm, whoops, but that's kind of where where I've I've kind of got them sitting so far. So maybe it's okay. Um, oh yeah, I've got so many, I have so many ways to hold this up, but, um, but what I will, what I will do, um, in the end is have, um, is have a, a lump of clay supporting it. Um, because, uh, because that way it will shrink at the same, it will also be shrinking while the, the legs and the sheep body are shrinking. And that will help it feel a little bit. Yeah, I think they just need to be, to be more up under, up under the sheep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back to the side. Okay. So, like up under there. Sheep legs. Your. I need you to be kind of like here. And you're a little bit too long. So maybe I may regret this. <laughs> I may regret this, but I've done it. So maybe like like there and then and then there. Mm-hmm. That feels kind of, kind of okay. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Sheep is fine. Of course, then the legs have to sit on the, on the actual ground. Um, but yeah, okay. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with about there. out there and about here yep and then that comes in like that there we go so basically like that yes good now, now I have a problem. Now I just have to hold the sheep. What is, oh no, what, ah, uh, camera. Uh, second camera, why you like this? Okay, sponge away. Just get some clay here. Good fistful of it. Uh, off screen, everything's off screen. No. Okay. What I need, what I need is a free hand, <laughs> but I don't have one. Not anymore. So we're gonna left-handed Left-handed create this thing. Okay, so we need it to be is the right height for those legs. 
the right height for the sheep. Okay. Almost. Yes. Maybe just a little bit. There we go. Flat on one side, indented on the other. There. Now. Oh boy. No! Knew that was gonna happen. It's fine. Don't, don't, don't cry. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Just gonna move this sheep back and try and and center it on this. Everything, everything fall. There we go. Now, 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 sheep, you need more support. Where, oh no, I used, where did I put, hmm. Well, what you're getting is a stack of sponges. Nope, not those sponges. A bunch of those sponges are wet. We don't want a wet sponge, we want a dry sponge. On top, sorry second camera. I know now it's gone insane. Just gonna create a stack of sponges for you to rest on for a minute here while I try to make sure that everything is, okay. Are you even on the plastic anymore? There we go. For now. For now, that's good enough. Adjusting the light. Okay. There we go. Now, there's cat hair on things. That's fine. <laughs> now we need to put some little sheep legs on. Get rid of some of that extra clay. And so there. No, don't fall over. Please don't fall over. Nobody wants to see that happen. So, front legs. that stuck on a little bit better. Back leg. Yes, good, good, good. Do, do, do. It's okay, I, I managed. Oh, that's right, sorry, you're right. I zoomed, I focused, I focused out. Now I must focus here again. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Get that sheep leg on, okay. Legs on this side. Clay for a tail. Oh no, now I must rotate the sheep. Is everything on this, is everything on this paper? Oh good, it is. I am not a failure. Sweet. Tell you what we are though. We are slightly crooked. Gotta fix that. Oh, I see what the problem is. I see what the problem is. There we go, in the middle. Okay. That's better. Yeah, just because, because I say I need more hands doesn't necessarily mean I can also hand off the thing I am currently juggling easily. So it's not necessarily a fixable dilemma unless I were to spontaneously grow more hands. 
That feels like it's slightly too far. Well, maybe not. I put the other one pretty far back. And then... And then there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, this will totally stand up. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know if this will work as well as the bowls. But, you know. Live live life like it's going to work out. <laughs> the goose is nearly done. Um, it needs a little bit of, of tidying up and then it needs the, the dangerous bit, which is taking all of the supports out of the inside and, uh, and adding sort of tidying up the base finishing, like adding feet, finishing up the bottom so that it's a clean bottom instead of sort of the messy, the messy join with the balloon inside that it is before. Um, but it's otherwise basically done. Pretty much a goose. I did most of, I did some finishing on it um, earlier this week before I, before I struck out making a, uh, a teapot <laughs> so that I would have more space. Such a good, such a good goose. Um, okay. Just, I'm gonna attach these legs sort of messily. Are you a wet, you are a wet sponge, thank you. I'm glad that I didn't put all of my sponges in the tower of sponges. Um, gonna check here I need this to be to be definitely touching the ground because it has to hold up once this uh, once this heavier front is no longer supported by a pile of sponges so that's going to be a fun challenge um, it makes me wonder if I shouldn't have put the legs farther forward. Um, but they looked so cute this way. Like they just, they have more of a, more of a fluffy sheep vibe. Yeah, in general, one of the things about sculpting with ceramics is maintaining structural integrity For, for anything that, that will later be suspended, like when these are sturdy and like fired, they'll be weight bearing, but currently they're not really. So I have to kind of make sure that I'm careful with how I'm supporting the whole structure because as I said, it's kind of front end heavy. I'm still a little, I'm still a little concerned that that it may, the legs may not be enough to. Well, I don't, mm, I don't know. I didn't add that much clay. I mean, I added some, but I don't know. I don't know. It'll probably be fine. It'll probably be fine. Should not worry. Ok. 
gotta make sure the legs are properly attached. Still need to make a clear, clear hawk here. There we go. Go back and do that on the other side. Is this leg farther forward? I don't. Are we farther forward? Are we farther back? Are we exactly the same? Does it matter? It's probably fine as it is. Don't worry, sheep happy. Yeah. I didn't add that much clay. Yeah, so the thing is that, that I worry that I've put the front legs too far back and that the weight of the sheep's head will, will, will mean that he falls forward. But, but I mean, it's not like, it's not like it's solid. It's, it's a spout. So when I say I didn't add that much clay, that's kind of what I mean is that I didn't, it's not, it's not a hilarious amount of clay. It's not like a solid, thick, heavy weight, but I did add sort of clay all around there. So it's, uh, it's thicker than the rest of the sheep teapot. But there will be also a weight in the middle and then a tail in the back, so I don't know. Let's let's find out. Oh, it's probably fine. It's already fine. Cool. I mean I'm not gonna leave it like that, because I'll I'll worry that, that over time it will slowly it will slowly slump. But it's probably fine. Didn't immediately fall. It's probably fine. Okay. Tail. Let's let's get her done. 609 but you know we'll go there we'll put a tail we'll go a little long and finish this up I started a little late because I realized I'd moved all my camera stuff because I'd done a, a little video meeting all right tail 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 kind of just tail it's a bit it's a bit high up tail Okay, let's tail, second camera, with your noir, your noir excitement. Feels a little, feels a little much still. Let's, let's squidge it down a little bit. Squidge, my favorite clay word. No, no, tail, tail. Centered tail, not really, centered tail. Oh, cheap teapot. I gotta, I gotta fix your support. Hang on. That's, it's better. You're gonna need fixing a bit later, but for now, Now that's a little bit more even sheep tail. Let's just all of the all of the slip and scoring. Get a really nicely attached sheep tail here. We'll use our marble friend to carry on with the texture. And then I'm going to seal it on the sides a little bit better, trying to maintain the shape, trying to maintain a little bit of an undercut so that it's still a separate form, but one that's, well, there's no light there at all. Well, this will make second camera really happy. Maintaining the undercut, just trying to make sure that it's really well sealed 
to the sheep body. Ah. Sculpting with a marble. Look, you use whatever you use whatever tools are around. And it's the this sort of round size and shape I needed. And I just happened to already have it, although I need to wash some of the clay off. In case you're wondering, there's a bowl of water back here. And that's what I keep reaching for when I go back there. Um, but yeah, sh sheep sheep had a little bit of a, a little bit of a tilt that needed that needed some fixing. But that's okay. We've we've got it. I'm gonna dry my marble a little. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've we've he's a little bit less tilty. I'll probably um, add some paper and and rearrange him slightly when he's just a little bit a little bit drier. But okay, tail. And then that one last thing that we need. Well, technically, we need a. Uh, we need a couple, but that one last thing we need, and uh, I'm gonna try pulling it, is that we need little uh, little loops for the handle to attach to. So I'm uh, trying not to just drip water on the on the sheep while I pull. Um, I, Cause I want them to be pretty pretty dainty. Um, and not not stand out too much, but they need to be sturdy enough to support the whole sheep. So so let's see, about like that. A loop. That's cute. We'll do a loop. All right. Mm, that might not be once it's fired then I need to maybe maybe make a bigger loop got to make sure that the uh, the fired version will fit like a loop loop second camera show them show the, behave show them the loop loop um that is cute and has the potential to, yeah, I like it. It's a little, it's like a little keyhole loop. The handle will be made from whatever I can find for purchase at a supply store. <laughs> um, probably one of the bamboo or like wrapped like ones. Um, it's just a decorative. The handle's just a decorative one. Sheep kind of have little 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 spindly woolly tails, and I uh, and I wanted a uh, a more substantial handle for a more substantial sheep. So instead, I'm going to use um, loops and then an over, over the top handle. It also, I think, will pour better from that position because um, the sheep's going to be a little bit weighted in the front because I've added the wool because of the sheep face and all. Um, note to self. You need more clay in your hand when you're pulling a handle. This is becoming treacherous. Pulling from both sides. It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, I don't know if I've explained this before on stream. Pulling is where you use your hand 
um, very wet, just dipped in water, and you use your water and very gentle force, I'm sure I've described this before, to, to lengthen out a handle strip of clay. Okay, now let's try and make this exactly the same as that one. Yes, good. There. And, oh, you know what has just occurred to me? I need, I need the lid. Because the lid may need to be trimmed. I don't want it to overlap the handle, obviously. But yeah, a handle in the back, I feel like would be, no matter how hefty I made the handle, I think it would be uncomfortable to lift. Um, especially if you have any kind of wrist or hand issues. So, the, yep, yep, mistakes were made. Okay, there. And there. Okay, just gonna take a minute to make sure these are really, really well attached for obvious reasons. The one thing you don't wanna end up being loose is your handle attachment. Um, and then this one. Um, Ah oh, yes, I remember. Thank you, Arcraft. That's right. I did explain, and then, and then experts were like, "No, that is not how. That is not how you milk anything. Please do not." And then we all learned something, and that was fun. There. So now we have the little loops. I'm gonna attempt to lift this and show you. All of the all of the angles with second camera. So here we have sheep sheep face sheep loops sheep tail. No, I appreciate I, I will I will never ever um, milk any creature the way I pull a handle in pottery. It's, uh, it's an important thing to know. I don't know that I was ever going to be called upon to milk something, but you never know. Um, and now, I definitely won't use that as a point of reference. Okay. Good. So, just going to make sure the little feet are anchored down on the table. Let's, mmm, teapot, you're still, you're still kind of Kind of listing. I need you to be like that. I'm gonna have to fix you and that later. Anyway, we'll figure it out because now the last thing we're gonna do at the very end of the stream is make sure that we have a handle on our lid so we can lift it off. And you know what that handle is? It's a quail. Um, it's it's a very dry quail because he's been sitting out waiting, waiting for this moment the whole stream. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get there um, as quickly as possible. We're gonna have him looking forward. Do you think? Backward to the side. A jaunty angle to the side. Okay. Carefully attach that quail. See, centered ish. Sure. Does the quail really need to be centered? Probably not. All right. Let's. There we go. Now, I'm not going to pull on him because he might come up because he's still setting. But now we have handle handle for got smudge some some of my wet hand clay on him 
fix that. There we go. And I mean, it's not, it's not done. It's not really done, but it's basically done. I just need to spend another like 20 hours just like happily making little, little divot lines in, in my shape. Just, just going around making little texture lines um, forever. And then there'll be some final adjustment with the legs, um, adding sort of the details of like toes and things. Um, toes, hooves, cloven hooves, and uh, trimming them a little bit. I'll probably lift him up maybe in an hour or two and just adjust where he sits, adjust his legs again to make sure that they're, that they're setting nicely making sure that these little handles there and then i'll find that tool that i'm missing and do the other and do the other uh bye valkyrie and and i'll do the other little little pupil and then i'll be done so i pick him up and turn him all different ways but i can't so uh so this is going to be the this is going to be the visual you get for the wrap up well let's See if we can't. There we go. We'll just stop on his on his little face with the camera so that it's set there. So now we have basically a sheep teapot. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me make it. I am happy that we got all the way through all the bits. And now that we're finally there, we have a whole sheep. And that's pretty cool. Um because I love you, I gave you a quail before we even started. Um, and I like these little, I like these little loops. I think that they're in keeping with the visual. So happy sheep he is done. Um, mentioned it a couple of times during the stream, but if you would like to subscribe to, well, not subscribe, it's follow. Subscribe is different. If you'd like to follow me, on Twitch, if I think like 20 more people follow me, then I can give you custom emotes in my chat, and that's awesome. That's kind of the only reason. And if you really enjoy this and want me to buy a better second camera that doesn't go all dangerous and noir in the middle of the stream, then uh, I have a Patreon, Sarah with T. There are different levels, one of which will get you monthly sketch requests, and one of which will get you prints sent to you in the mail. So if you want to support me, those are some ways you can. Otherwise, I'll see you next Friday at Friday Tea Time or on Twitter. Thanks for coming. Have a good night. Bye.